okay try it at least not an issue like if you don't get the answer not don't worry about it just at least try so that you can have the idea okay Arya, have you received the homework? Like I have given, uh, I'm saying that have you received the homework questions that I've shared? So I don't know. There's a few problems with my side, but I'll check again today. Okay, okay. Please check and let me know whether you got the question or not. Okay. Okay. So, uh, basically, your number is uh, like your personal number is registered with official number or your uh, guardian or parents number. My parents number. Okay, my parents number. So basically, all the things are uh, like you shared with your parents number, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So please check it and let me know in the next class, which it okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Any answer, Arya? Um, yeah, but I don't think I'm correct. Okay, please let me know what's your answer. What's um, the polynomial expression? <clears throat> four x square mm -hmm. um, minus one. Uh, no, minus x minus one. Okay, yes, it is correct. It is? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> now Arya feels like delighted that you got uh, Arya got the correct answer, right? <laughs> yeah. Achha, kind of surprised. <laughs> no, no, it's correct. So uh, let's see. So basically, uh, the question has given you the sum of zeros, which means that alpha plus beta is given as. So it's the question is saying that respectively, it means that 
you have to follow the same sequence that is given in front of you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's great. So basically alpha plus beta. Just say, let me settle. Yeah. Actually a little bit. <clears throat> so alpha plus beta is given to you as minus one by four and product is given to you as alpha beta in, in, is equals to one by four. So as you can see this thing, the, there is a general equation that we have derived is basically P of X. So you have two methods. Either you basically compare the ratios by this, uh, by this fraction and you get the ABC. Okay. Or you can directly use this equation. Both are correct. Okay. X square minus alpha plus beta, which option, which method did uh, you have opted? Um, I don't this one or method. I don't think my method is correct. So that's why I was surprised. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Chala, no worries. So let's, uh, let me solve it. Then you can verify. Okay. So now it's, uh, now it's turn to substitute the values that is given. Okay. So that is x square is directly given, like uh, will be as it is, and alpha plus beta is given to you as minus one by four. So it will be minus one by four into x plus one by four. Yes or no? Yes. So it will be you can see this thing alpha uh, x square plus x by four plus one by four. Yes or no? So to simplify this, what we will, what we can do, Arya? To eliminate the uh -huh. fraction. LCM. LCM should be taken. So 4 is the LCM. So it will be 4 x square and uh, plus of 4 plus of x plus of 1. I think you told me that it is minus x minus 1. I, I didn't hear like uh, I thought that it would be minus but it is positive. So pardon me for that as well. Okay. So now you practice your expression is 4 x square plus x plus 1 by 4. So to eliminate this 4, you just have to equate it to 0 to eliminate this because it will not affect whether you will take it or you can multiply it with 0. So it will not affect basically. Okay. So that's where we are eliminating. So it will be uh, 4 x square plus of x plus of 1 divided by 1. <clears throat> Sorry, for by divided by 4 is equals to 0. So equals to 0. And now you ultimately your expression will become 4x square plus x plus 1 is equal to yes or no. So basically, if you want to make this expression as a polynomial expression, you just need to do nothing but you just have to write it as a polynomial as a function of 4x square plus x plus 1. Clear? This is how you will write it down. Am I clear to you, dear? Yes, sir. Is this clear to you? Yeah. Now you got the correct option, uh, like a uh, method. Okay. So there is one more, uh, you can say method is that you can compare the ratio, uh, ratios by uh, minus alpha plus beta is equals to minus B by A. Yeah, I did it that way. So it will be equal as well. So you can compare this thing. Okay. That means uh, that A will tell be four. Can we how to write it in the correct format for that though? Uh, which one? The minus B by A and C by A. Mm -hmm. Um, can you tell me how I should like you know correctly write oh, it? Okay, okay, take it. Let, okay, let's solve it with the like with the ratio one. Okay, so <clears throat> this is method one. Okay. Okay, method two is nothing but comparing the ratios. So method two, so alpha plus beta is equals to minus B by A is will be equals to minus of one by four. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. And alpha into beta is given to you as C by A will be equals to one by four. So from that, you can find this thing that comparing the ratios, you can see this thing A is equals to four here because B by A is nothing but it is denoting this thing. Okay. Yeah. So it means that B will be equals to one. So from this, you can find out A will be equals to four. Okay. B will be equals to one. And from this, you can see this thing that C is equals to one. A is already four. We have taken from here. So it will be C will be equals to one. Okay. 
So now we have okay. a general equation equ expression for the poly quadratic polynomial that is a x square plus b x plus c. So you just have to put the values of a, b and c into the expression. So you will get the values that is is equals to 4 x square plus x plus 1. Okay, this is how you will use this expression. So both the methods are correct. You can opt any of the method. You will get the marks without any deduction. Okay. Am I clear to you, dear? Arya, I'm audible. Yes, sir. Okay, check it, check it. That's good. So let me give you one more question and please try to solve that thing. This is a very easy chapter. Like starting three chapter are very easy. The quadratic, oh sorry, basically polynomials and basically your pair of linear equation and your uh, real and real numbers. Okay. Okay, so please try to do this thing. Um, I got the answer. Okay. Okay. What's your equation, uh, expression? <clears throat> um, x3, x square, mm -hmm. um, minus root 2, x, mm -hmm. uh, plus 1. Uh, okay. So let's find it out. So alpha plus beta is given to you as root 2 and alpha into beta is given to you as 1 by 3. Clear? So uh, let's <clears throat> use this expression to form a quadratic polynomial that is x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus of alpha into beta. Clear? Substitute the values of the sum of zeros and product of zeros minus plus of 1 by 3. So taking the LCM, it will be basically nothing but 3 will be the LCM. So it will be 3 x square minus 3 root 2 x plus 1. 
डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री ठीक है and to equate this we, uh, so basically to equate the, we are equating this equals to 0 to get the to eliminate this 3 so ultimately your expression will become p of x will be equals to 3x square minus 3 root 2 x plus 1 you missed 3 by taking the when you were taking the lcm so you missed 3 okay okay yeah is it clear to you arya yeah any doubts so far bachche no so okay so i'm giving you one question to find out the zeros of the polynomial and you have to verify the relationship between them okay Okay, do this question here. Then three goes to that side. It will become plus three, right? No, it is no need to uh, basically shift three. Why? So you will write this as. Let me write it. Then you can solve. So this expression can be written as six x square minus minus seven x minus three. You just have to rearrange it. You don't need to yeah. shift it to basically on the other side. Okay. okay.
Any answer are you? Still doing so. Okay. Yes, Arya. Any answer? No, sir. Ah, let's, go. let's solve it together. Don't worry. So basically, you can see this thing. The question is given to you as the polynomial expression. You can see. So you have to split the middle term in such a way that the product of those two terms should be equal to the product of A and C. And when you add or subtract them, the, pro uh, the summation or the subtraction becomes to the middle term. Okay. So what you can see this thing, 6 into 3 is what, 18? Minus, yeah. Minus, minus, minus 18 or positive 18. If you take the number as well, you will uh, consider this thing in the middle of the term. Okay. So I'm just taking the magnitude to understand, to explain it to you in a better manner. So it is 6, 3 is 18. Okay. So you have to split the 7 in such a manner that the product of those two terms should be equals to 18. And when you add them up, it will be equals to 7. Clear? Mm, 2 minus 9. So, uh, yeah. So basically what you can do is that you can write this thing as 6x square. You need negative of 7. So you will take the 9x in negative plus 2x. So plus 2x, you can see this thing. So if you multiply this thing 9 to the 18, negative 9, positive 2. So it will give ne negative of 18. Okay. Minus of 3. Clear? Clear? Yeah. Okay, now you just have to nothing like you just have to take the common from it. So it will be so here it is common 3 is common from here and x is common. So it will be 3x inside will be left 2x minus 3. Okay, same here. Nothing is common, but you what you need 2x minus 3. So plus 1 will be taken common out. 2x minus plus of 1. Because if you multiply plus 1 into it, so it will be remain as it is. So it is as it is. So 2x plus 3 is already common in your both the terms. 2x minus 3 basically. And 3x plus 1. Okay. So 3x plus 1. So now you got the factors. What you need to do are your next thing. Um, equated to zero. Equated to zero. Each factor should be individually uh, equated to zero. So x two x minus three should be equals to zero, or three x plus 
is equals to zero. So x will be equals to three by two, or x will be equals to negative of one by three. Clear? Clear, Arya? Have you got the answer right? Uh, similar to this? Yes, sir. Okay. Now what you need to do is that you need to verify. So to verify, alpha plus beta should be equals to minus b by a. Let's use this form. So what is b here, Arya? What is b? Um, seven. Uh, minus seven. Minus seven. You have to take the sign as well, dear. Minus seven yes. divided by what is a? Uh, six. Six. So it will be seven by. Seven by six. six. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you add this, so I am supposing that it is alpha, and this is beta. Okay. Now add them up. Is equal to three by two. Okay. Uh, plus uh, negative of one by three. So it will be equals to now six will be your LCM. Okay. From this. So it will be nine minus two. Yes or no? clear it, this one. So it yes, will sir. be seven by six. So now you can see this thing. Both the terms are equal. So it means that we have got the correct values and the verification is done. Yes, yes or no? Okay. Next thing is alpha into beta. C by A, that is equals to minus 3 by 6. Negative of 1 by 2. And to so alpha into beta will be here. So 3 by 2 into negative of 1 by 2. So you can see uh, this 1 by 3, yeah? sorry. So this 1 by 3 will get cancelled here. So 1 by 2 is left. Clear, Arya? Now you can see this thing. We have got the correct values. Yes, sir. So this is how you will verify. Is it clear to you, dear? Please let me know. Yes, sir. Any doubt so far? No, sir. Okay. Just allow me a second. Let me take some portions and some exemplar portions. Okay. Okay, let's do these portions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So please, uh, okay. So dear, please do the first one and let me know the answer. If the zero, one of the zeros of the polynomial is minus three, we have to find the value of k. Let me know. Uh, which one? First one? Okay. Yeah. We will do all the questions one by one. Okay. <laughs>
So could you solve one? Okay, so like no worries. The first question is basically saying that we have to find the value of k if any if one of the poly, zero of the polynomial is given to you as minus three. So it means that if you substitute this value into the polynomial, so it means it should it should make this polynomial equals to zero. Clear? So that is the basically the concept behind this question. Okay. So let's substitute the value of k, uh, x as minus three. Okay. So it will give you k minus one into minus three. Oh, just a second. minus three whole square plus uh, but basically it's negative. So it will be negative of three X, sorry, negative of three K plus of one will be equals to, so you can see this thing. So it will become nine, positive nine, positive nine into nine, nine into K, it would be nine K minus nine, minus three, minus K, uh, minus three K plus one. Okay. So it should be equals to zero clear. Because it is a zero of the polynomial, so it will make the polynomial equals to zero. So it will become so six nine minus three will be six k, and it will be negative nine plus one, so it will be negative of eight will be equals to zero. So k will be equals to eight by six. So it will be equals to four by three. Clear? So four by three is your answer. Am I clear to you, Arya? Yes. Okay, now do the second one. The quadratic polynomial is given and zeros are given, not sum and product. It's only zeros are given. Alpha, beta value is given. You have to find the alpha plus beta and alpha into beta. Then you have to find the polynomial. Okay, do this one. I have given you a hint. Uh, the second one, right? Yes. Okay. Any answer, Arya? Just one minute. Okay.
fake. Okay, let's find it out. So basically, alpha and beta are given to you as alpha is equals like you can assume any of the value as alpha and any of the value as beta. So alpha is I'm assuming alpha is minus three and beta as four. Okay. So it means that alpha. So if you calculate, take the values of alpha plus beta. So it will be minus three plus four. It will be equals to plus one. Okay. And alpha into beta will be equals to negative of. 12 clear so substituting the values so it will be x square minus so it is basically minus sign is there and it is positive so it will be minus x yes or no and it is yeah. positive of alpha beta so it will be negative of 12 so which one is which one is the quotient so it will be x by 2 positive negative yeah. yes it I is c yeah very good so it's nothing but depth Divide it by two to basically trick the students. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, now do the third one. D. Okay, let's solve it. So, yeah, this one, can I read this one? Yeah. Okay, take it. So, that. Okay, chalo. Okay. So, question is saying alpha zeros of the polynomial are 2 and 3, then the value of a and b. So, it will be, you can see. Uh, so, it, you just have to substitute. So, x square. And uh, plus, so, so basically, let's substitute the values. So you will get the two equations by substituting other these two zeros. So it will be p of two will be equals to. So get now uh, x square will be so two square plus k a plus one into two plus of b. Okay. So it will be four. So it will be two a plus b. Plus k uh, four and two six is equals to zero. So the, that equation will be formed as two a plus b will be equals to minus six. Clear? Yes. Okay. So the second equation is basically uh, p of negative of three. 
will be equals to uh, negative 3 square plus a plus 1 into negative of 3 plus k t. So it will be equals to 9 minus 3a minus 3 plus b is equals to 0. So it will, it will be, so, um, I will shift this 3a on this side and b on this side. So it will become 3a minus b will be equals to 6. So this is equation 2. This is equation 3. Okay. So you can see this thing. If you add both the equation, this b will get cancelled. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So basically, so it will be equals to, so your ultimately equation will become 5a and 6 minus 6 will be 0. So a ultimately is coming out to be 0. Yes or no, Arya? Yes, sir. So a, if a is equals to 0, so substitute a, so b will be equals to minus 6. Yes, sir. B will be equals to minus 6. Clear? So it will be d. Clear? Any doubt? No, sir. Okay. So, and the number of polynomials having zeros. This cubic one, uh, cubic one is not in the syllabus basically. Okay, and uh, one, uh, the other one is also there, which is not in syllabus. So, well. what's the fourth answer? Yeah, um, so it is more than three. Okay. okay. Yeah, more than three. So basically, you can see when you will find out the equation. So it will nothing but so when you multiply this polynomial, you will uh, you can multiply the polynomial with any of the real numbers. So it will be nothing but it will be more than three polynomials that will be having the same zeros. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So these two these two are not in basically are uh, not in the syllabus basically. So uh, no need to worry about it. So next is the zeros of the polynomial are. So this one is, uh, you have to solve it. So what we can do is that we will do these uh, the remaining questions in the next class. Okay, Arya? Okay, so. Yeah. So in the next class, we will do the remaining questions and then uh, this chapter will be end. And the linear equation and uh -huh. two variable will be started in the, like, uh, like after the next class. Okay. okay so. In the next class, uh, we will try, or I, uh, I will try to start the like at least give you the introduction about the pair of linear equation, what we will do, and what, uh, what kind of questions uh, we will be dealing, and uh, what is basically the linear equation in two variable. Okay. So uh, we will try. I will try to uh, start in the next class. Okay. Else, after the like uh, after the next class, it is uh, completely sure that uh, next after the next class, the chapter will start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Till then, take care and bye-bye. And one more thing, dear, I have shared some homework questions. If you get those homework,